Okay, start with the scale, which is a standard item. I've got it set up to read grams, and I put an X mark in the middle so that I can locate it right under the pressure point on the scale. The uh, pivot for this assembly has a pair of four millimeter ball bearings inside of the two upright arms here. Uh, they don't need to be very high precision. I maybe have overdone it because this is a static condition measurement. Nothing has to move, so friction is not a serious issue. This is an old receiver that I use with a different transmitter in order to uh, uh, connect up to speed controls and batteries and the like. And this is a clamp that holds the whole business down. I've used this rig on motors that have uh, more than a pound of thrust. The motor I usually mount in the front here, and this large hole here has a line across it which indicates the, the distance from this line, which should be the center of, of the motor, located on the center of the motor, down to the pivot, and then from the pivot to the pressure point on the scale, that's the same distance. So that even though we're working at a right angle, when I give a tug with the motor, the scale will read the measurement properly. Okay, now in this setup here, we're testing the motor on an airplane and not on the stand as such. So the string connects to the tail assembly and then uh, we get a close idea of what the thrust is. It's close to being the right height. The motor may be just a little bit elevated, which may tend to indicate a higher thrust reading than what we would get if the motor were mounted right on the center line of the rig. Well, we can deduct a few percent, and that should give us enough accuracy to give you an idea of whether or not you've got plenty of thrust in them. Turn on the scale and let it initialize. have no choice there. We're plugged in. Let's give it some throttle. You call that about 31 grams before the charge starts to taper off. Let's put on another airplane uh, that has a stock champ motor, and we'll see what that... This is the regular champ motor. Regular. Regular. Our original equipment motor. It's a static test of the motor, and also of the cell that, that runs it, too. Okay. Everything wiggles and jiggles. Let's tear the scale. Thank you. About 28 uh, plus, 28 and a half grams. And that's with a stock 4 inch prop, stock champ motor. Well, wasn't that less than the other one? Much less than the other one. So that's interesting. Yeah. I think nitro planes or hobby parts, they're the same outfit pretty much. They're on sale, I think, for 20 bucks. I think. Maybe a limited time only. So I got a little film of the motor which is the GPS-C03 or C03 8700KV. Here's something box. else I like about this connector. One size fits all, which is to say... And this is from all electronics. Yeah, which is to say the pins fit into the holes or and you can put your wire in there and solder the wire in 
so that this is a male connector from the motor. I see, yeah, it'll work either way. Whereas, for instance, on the P51, what they've done is, on the motor, they have that same kind of connector used as a female. The pins are glued into the, uh, glued, they're soldered into the output power FETs. Let's just show the folks at home how this connector fits together. Four comes apart. Comes up. I've color coded the red there so that it matches up properly when I reinsert the plug. <laughs> we'll do this right. Won't uh -huh. we? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. That's in there now. So it probably would be easy to replace this motor on this P51 which is a direct drive right. uh, brushless with it looks like it has the same what would you call it motor mount very similar motor mount yeah yeah to the to the gear to the geared version. one yeah it's yeah it's the same basic frame to fit the motor into and it has the same mounting lug arrangement as the non-geared so that it will fit your airplane. This is a plastic prop saver from uh, BobSelmanDesigns.com that will fit these GWS props that have the bigger hole. Pushes on to a 1.5 millimeter shaft. And here's some prop adapters from uh, GWS that can be ordered from BP Hobbies. So they basically fit. Not a smart thing to do. You make a what? Hmm? You gonna make a what? A folding propeller. Oh. This goes over the 1.5 millimeter shaft right at the and the inside the hole on the prop. Might get so it looks something like this. And here's some lately. flexible glue that we can use for gluing uh, wires for a strain relief onto a plug. And uh, it comes out white like this and then eventually dries clear. So Super RC Z56. Canopy uh, installations. But she's not the department. So sometimes called canopy glue. She didn't want to be.